right, it's that time again. And I'm sitting at a nice 113 and 80 with two ties. Yeah, I'm, we'll get to that. Week 13 <clears throat> started off strong. Bills beating the Patriots. Steelers beat the Falcons, although it came close. Packers came back and beat the Bears. Lions demolished the Jaguars after you all get. So it wasn't a touchdown against the Ravens, and you know it. That's football gods getting that, that payback. They give it and they take it away. The Vikings beat the Jets, although the Jets did come back in uh almost won. Just had some troubles on trying to get that, that go ahead touchdown. Jets, the Jets are strong this year. I'd love to see it. Mike White totally turned on offense around. Just just couldn't get that one play into the end zone. The drop and the interception. Commanders and the Giants tied, although I think the Commanders could have got the win. But they decided to do a conservative play call with a wide receiver screen, and that was sniffed out. Mm. The Giants, however, they looked like they were playing for the tie because they were not making any effort to move down the field. Like, they got to field goal range. It's like, eh, we'll kick this field goal. Mm. The Eagles beat the Titans, although... I didn't see them str- um, shut, uh, again, struggling against them anyway because, you know, you shut down Derrick Henry and what's Tannehill going to do? Especially since A.J. Brown is now part of the Eagles, not the Titans. The Ravens, oh man, this game was just embarrassing to watch. It was... <sighs> Good on Huntley and getting the win, the defense as well. Because, you know, the Broncos, I didn't expect them to put up that much of a score. But the game should never have been that close. If anything, I hope this game showed that Greg Roman needs to go. Three straight weeks of bad offense. The Browns beat the Texans. Deshaun Watson didn't really have to do anything. He threw that in one interception, but, you know, the defense and special teams took over. And the Seahawks beat the Rams. The Rams tried to come back, but uh, they ran out of time. Seahawks were able to get the thing going. Geno, Geno Smith. I hope he gets an MVP vote or two. I hope he gets some. Because he, he is he's at least comeback player of the year material. And then we get my first loss. Dolphins lost to the 49ers. I was not expecting that, especially since Jimmy G went down. But the 49ers defense got the tour. And the Chiefs, they were hyping up this game, and they just lose to the Bengals. They sold. That defense sold. I don't know how 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 you struggle against this. It's like they they and they had Mahomes figured out. Like send three people, drop eight. What's he gonna do? Can't get to his guys. They don't have a run game. And he can't scramble because, you know, it's like, where's he going to go? The Raiders beat the Chargers. Chargers try to make a comeback, but no, no. And the Cowboys demolished the Colts. That was a murder in the fourth quarter. Good God. The Colts put up a fight, but then that fourth quarter started, and it was just like, ooh. The Saints choked against the Buccaneers. They had the game, but they couldn't score when they needed to. And they just let them score 14 on answer. And that's in, in the fourth quarter. Mm. Oh, that sucks. I said 32 points would be scored. They scored 33. So, you know, three losses and a tie. We'll move on to week 14. Tonight, we have the Raiders and the Rams. They're not sure if the Rams quarterback, I think Warford is his name, is good to go because of an injury. So Baker Mayfield, who was acquired by the Rams, might play. The Raiders got this. Baker Baker got picked up, what, Monday or Tuesday? And you expect him to... You expect him to just step right in and go? Nah, the Raiders got this one. It's going to be a... Uh, rematch this time we're in Buffalo 
Mike White might do something. It'd be impressive if he does, but I got the Bills getting this one. Joe Burrow cannot play the Browns, but I think this will be the game he gets it. Because they're... I don't, I don't see Deshaun Watson. Jacoby Brissett would have a better shot, in my opinion. But they, the Browns paid all that money for Deshaun, so they're going to use him. Honestly speaking, the Cowboys shouldn't even, the Cowboys shouldn't even allow um, the Texans to score anything. They should shut them out entirely because there is nothing the Texans can do offensively they can't they can't move the ball and the only way this this game goes the in Texans favor is if whenever they're on defense they turn over the ball and they score they can't allow the offense on the field and I don't see Dak doing that special teams has to make returns I don't see that them doing that Cowboys got this one easy I'm surprised that one percent of people pick the Texans this is this screams trap game but no no I don't see it. The Cowboys would have to collapse on both sides, on offense and defense, to to lose this game. I don't see it. This should be an interesting matchup between the Vikings and the Lions. The Lions have shown that they're very good this year. Just missing out on a couple key plays, you know, in certain moments. But I'll have the Vikings getting this. If the Lions win... Cool. I don't mind. Titans are going to beat the Jags. Because no one in the AFC South can stop the Titans. None. Jags will pay for their transgression against Baltimore. Let them pay for the rest of the ass. I'm bitter. The Giants, I think their O-line still hurt. The Eagles should have this one, no problem. Ravens and the Steelers. I'm always picking the Ravens. It's going to be different than it was last season. The defense is good to go. Steelers don't really have a decent run game. If they can get a good pass rush on Pickett, sack him, force him fumble, Make him throw picks. And, you know, keep... I would put Marlon Humphrey on pickings. But... If we put Peters on pickings, man, that's a fight waiting to happen. And the last thing, I, last thing we need is them... Is the refs just kicking out one of our guys and not the other. That happened one time. We played the Steelers. We had... We were... It was a couple of years ago. It was a whole big thing, and he only kicked out our pass rusher, Judon, I believe. Judon, when he was with the Ravens. And we ended up losing that game. Because Roethlisberger wasn't being rushed anymore. But I got the Ravens. Huntley, I think last year, Huntley did well. He just made a couple bad throws. Hopefully now he has the vision. And we'll, we'll get through it. Broncos ain't winning shit. Chiefs. Russell Wilson has not shown he's a guy. Even when the Ravens offense was performing badly last week. To the point where they could only score the final seconds of the fourth quarter. He still couldn't do anything. And they got two interceptions on the, on the Ravens. I got the Chiefs. I, I got the Chiefs. If the 49ers defense could do that to the Miami offense, I'm pretty sure they can do far better against the Buccaneers, 49ers. The Seahawks over the Panthers. No, Panthers, I don't I don't see y'all doing anything. Uh, pretty much for the rest of the season, unless it's someone in your division. And even then, uh, Geno Smith, do your thing, brother. The Dolphins and the Chargers got flexed at prime time. Oh, yeah, that's right, because the Chiefs and Broncos were prime time. No one wants to see that. <laughs> uh, schedule makers are like, let's make sure we put this game at the end of the season. So that way we can flex it if we can. Dolphins. They'll, they're going to look to rebound. And I think they'll do it against the Chargers. And then we got the Cardinals on Monday night.
Now, the thing about this Monday night game is I don't know how Kyler Murray is going to perform. But I think they'll do all right. Let's say 41 points are scored. 28 to 13? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Those are my picks. I am locked in. Let's go.